After trying out a multiple attempts of installing a GNOME 40 with Fedora as a base, I end up managing running a GNOME 40 on MacBook Pro 2017. Ever since GNOME 40 official came out, I got addicted. The way it has gone through a complete redesign that provides a mind-blowing user experience for Linux desktop. Now, every single element has been crafted with a wellness care. GNOME 40 is primarily focused on laptops. It has gone through a lot of changes like horizontal workspaces, brand new gestures for laptops and more. Now these gestures made me try GNOME 40 on MacBook Pro. Now keep in mind, I managed to install GNOME 40 on an Intel based MacBook Pro, but some functionalities are not working as intended. Since Fedora is not officially supporting MacBook Pro to run natively. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. This is a quick look at GNOME 40 running on MacBook Pro 2017. Let's get started. GNOME 40 brings a biggest changes to the Linux desktop users that has packed with the brand new features. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about a few of them. All right, as you can see, GNOME 40 with Fedora 34 running on the native hardware of MacBook Pro. Now, this is the initial home screen you would see after finishing up booting. Now, surprisingly, the trackpad is working properly on MacBook Pro, and guess what? All these gestures are working super fine. Now, check this out using a three fingers swiping up from the home screen reveals the overview of workspaces. And if you keep swiping up one more time, it takes you to the app launcher where you get to see all of the installed applications. And these gestures are super smooth. It works fine without any issues. Also, you can swipe a left or right to switch between workspaces. Now, as you can see, these gestures are super refined and work flawlessly on MacBook Pro. Now, these gestures are meant to speed up the overall user experience on laptops. Now, if you're using any keyboard shortcuts in Mac OS like Command plus Q to click the application or hide the application by pressing Command plus W, you can program at these keyboard shortcuts in GNOME 40, which is overwhelming. Now, inside settings, there is an option called a keyboard shortcut where you can uh, code the keyboard shortcut that performs a specific action. For example, I configure to quit the window by pressing Command plus Q. Now it's time to talk about the things that are not working. Now I have noticed the sound output has malfunctioned. There is a workaround on GitHub. I tried installing sound drivers, but after installing these drivers, my Wi-Fi stops working. Now another issue I have noticed is whenever you put a MacBook into a sleep mode, the system goes to a dead sleep and takes a long time to wake up. Now even though waking up after some time, I have noticed a random system freezing issues. Now these are some of the common issues I have noticed on my MacBook Pro with GNOME 40. Also, I forgot to mention, battery life is not that great. It may suck up a lot of juice 
unfortunately. You know, overall, I would say a GNOME 40 looks mind-blowing on a MacBook Pro. It's fantastic. You can still use a GNOME 40 for any workflow, except the drivers and a dead sleep issues. Everything works super fine. Now, I tried coding on this machine and handles everything like a boss. There are no stutters or lag I have noticed so far. Now, by the way, if you want to see a full feature list of GNOME 40, I made a dedicated video. You can check the link to that video in the description. Also, if in case you want to see a video like dual booting a MacBook Pro with GNOME 40, let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSKRL. I'll catch you in my next one.